Ugh. Must leave this area. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Seven Days to Smash a Cheerleader with your host, Rongo the Bold. We are exploring this prefab pack, and we're about, we just went over that house over there. We explored this area and kind of the underground uh, maintenance tunnels around here and the really nice uh, marina area. We're about to head into Z Mall, as it is titled up here on the side of the building. I'm not sure what causes this growth weird pattern. I had the same problem on some of my converted prefabs as well. Um, converting from Alpha 9 to Alpha 10. So I think it's just something with the block ID problem. But otherwise, it, it should be normal trees. Okay, so we're going to head into Z Mall, and it is a lag fest, let me tell you. Um, all this glass and all these torches just kill, kill the lag, or kill my you know, display speed. I thought it was a doorway here. All right, let's head in. So this is basically a big, huge mall area. So we got a nice water feature and a big, uh, I don't know what this is. Maybe a restaurant. It's probably a nice high-end restaurant, uh, lounge. You can sit up here at the marina, checking things out. It's really cool. I just love that mountain range. That mountain range is probably one of my favorite things. I mean, it's, it's just a big chunk of stone, but it's so nice. And I, I really think that the pimps could add this into the random world generation uh, to have some really, truly epic mountain ranges like this. And you could just try and find ways to climb them or whatever. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, let's, head, let's head on inside here. All right. Yeah, so I think this is a nice bar. You sit out here with the, with the bar area, drinking your, yeah, drinking your stuff. Hey, zombie, how you doing? All right, and then just out, outside deck again of the patio. Patio. The, more of the, you know, just a nice patio bench area. Yeah, there's glass everywhere. Uh, this is probably a... Uh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a restaurant. Oh, we gotta add. We gotta. We have to add to our collection of cooking pots. Nice little restaurant. Okay. And we've got a store that sells, maybe it's a high-end TV store. And we've got another store that sells plants, maybe. Maybe it's a little boutique or something like that. Uh, maybe a gem store or something like that, maybe. Jewelry store. Not a gem store. <clears throat> so we get the back of the mall area. On this side of the mall, what do we got? What do we have? We got a furniture store. A rabbit, you know, because rabbits... You want to eat the plant, not the lamp. What's up, rabbit? And we got a... A little art gallery over there. Nice, nice, nice. Um, a TV watching area. Massive TV watching area. Um, and just another store. It's only so much you can do with the with the elements they give you in the game. So some bathrooms. Maybe the mall office. A 
called conference room. Yeah, probably the mall office, I would think. Usually off the side somewhere. Ah, uh, the behind the scenes. Warehouse storage. Yep. This is all the storage for various stores. Storage for the stores. It's out here. Well, just the uh, bathroom for the employees. Not quite as pretty as the ones for the guests. Okay, let's head uh, to the second floor, I guess. Oh, there's some more stores here. Ah, like a kitchen supply store. Oh, I see some more cooking pots to add to our cooking pot collection. How about a blueberry pie? Anyone? Blueberry pie? I'll take the water. I see a cooking pot. Got it. <laughs> yeah, the lag is terrible in here. Just checking to see if I can get some free foods. Oh, I like this. So they used a, uh, a um, what do you call it? Uh, shutter. And a, and a ramp to create a grill a hood. That's really cool. I haven't seen that. Haven't seen that before. The nice. All right. Um, just another store over here. This place has got so much stuff. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, bag store with bags and you know bags they're the best places to look for things I will eat that sham yes I will you can have my can ah yes water um, I'll take and eat that. Chili for later. So much food to eat that they're not really worried about it. Some of these older bags uh, don't convert properly. That's why they explode like that. Food, more water. I don't need the, do not need the uh, other. Okay, we've been there. So I want. Where's the uh, stairs? There's the stairs up. I want to get out of here. This place is just causing so much lag. Okay, so just the uh, sitting areas, reading areas with lamps. Oh dear goodness gracious, look at this. Oh, whoops, whoops. One way stop, folks. Gotta get out of here. Wow, it's so bright. <laughs> Come on, computer, you can do it. Both sides like that. Okay, so I didn't really need to come up here. Just sitting areas. All right, let us get out of here. Um, let's head out. There's another building over across the street. I want to check out these uh, high rises. Now, somewhere in the mix here, I think those buildings over there are the original buildings that are at this prefab location. But, oh, Jesus, this is just killing me with the lag. So this is a new building. Ok, 
Come here, dearie. Let's club your head in. That's a good girl. Oh, all right. So we've got. Uh... Oh, jeez. It is just ugly. All right, let's let's kill a few of these. Okay, there's the stairs up. Yeah, I hope I don't die in here. This place is just killing my frame rate. Mm. Alright, so this is just a big... Alright, I'm not going to explore this whole thing. It's just This is just too much lag. I'm afraid I'm going to die if I try it. Um, some of these are just too they're just so not optimized and it just causes way too much look at this Ugh. must leave this area <sighs> all right these buildings here this one this one that one and that one are all regular parts of the of the prefab world jeez Come on, auger. You're not an auger. All right, let's, uh, oh man. Check this. Now these buildings I'm not gonna explore because they are, they are standard buildings, so. No point in checking out buildings we've all seen countless times. Now, I'm not going to take the underpass, or maybe I should take the... No. Uh, I'm debating. I'll come back and take the underpass. That's what I'll do. There's a few other buildings right here, kind of on the north side of the mountain range, that I want to show you guys. And then we'll come back and take that take that overpass, underpass. Which is a quick way of getting up uh, uh, to the other side of the mountain range. Okay, let's... Let us get out of here. Okay, so these buildings are all new. And what are they? Besides death traps for Rongo. Hmm. Maybe a little restaurant? Ah, I'm out of here. Oh, I want to get away from this mall. So this look very similar. I have to remember all the brass here. There's a lot of brass. Alright. So this is just a big, uh, a big, maybe an art gallery. Art gallery. Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, right. I need to get out of here. Oh, frame is getting better. Frame is getting better. You see it? Things are getting a little better. I'm getting away from some things. I think that uh, that huge high rise also is causing some serious lag. Things are getting. Oh, see, look at this. It's like night and day difference. All right, so this we got another cool building right here. I'll go ahead and explore this. Die, you bastard! Still a little jerky and laggy, but all right. So what do we have here? Uh, this is a strip club. <laughs> Uh, I'll explain why here in a second. Get this wall safe. Uh, in the original nine, version nine prefabs, uh, there were um, they had spawned a bunch of female zombies. Oh, magnum cylinder, seven six two bullets, hunting rifle. Have that. Let's get rid of those. Let's keep that. Let's get rid of.
get rid of these jars. I don't really truly need the jars. Let's grab the bullets. Actually, let's eat the eat the chili. And then drink the Inventory management at its finest, folks. Two parts of the gun. Okay. So anyway, uh, in the original, they had female zombies that were in here. Because um, the prefab, the entity spawners aren't working really well in this version 10. And basically, he had, he had you know, zombies. Zombie strippers. Like her. Oh, Jesus, buddy. Scared the hell out of me. Alright, let's check her. Check her for meds. No. Alright, um... The back side of this. Going up to where the... Office space. And the roof access. And bathroom. I'll take those pain pills. And not only will I take those pain pills, I will take those pain pills. Alright, do one of these real fast. Might as well use all of our things. Now one of the things, when, you, when you're crafting, see it, uh, sometimes we'll use all of them even when it doesn't need to use all of them. It's a little annoying. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Oh no, out of coffee. Sad. Alright, do we have... I'm not going to worry about that because I already have my, my helmet, but oh, let's make sure I'm... Alright, let's uh, equip this and get ourselves out of here. Hey, Nursey. Look, like there's actually a second side of this, doesn't there? Yeah, yep. Ah, so we've got like a, uh, yeah. Little kitchen area for the ladies. Some bathrooms. Pink pills, yes. A bedroom. Pink pills, yes. Uh, Alright, let's get. Let's get out of here. I mean, frame rates have gotten much better, so. All right, so there's a house over here I want to check out. This house is really kind of cool. I think it's one of the more well-defended uh, prefabs. It's got barbed wire around it, cobblestone walls. Nice field of goldenrod. And... Oh, aloe. Nice. nice little shack. Fields of crops. We've got potatoes coming in. Blueberries. Oop. Little safe room kind of thing. A little panic room. You could hang out in here really easy. This is cool. I like it. You know, lock up these with iron bars or something like that. And uh, you'd have a pretty good defense really fast. This would be a really easy house to move into and make your uh, 
make your base. I like the way, oh, I like these walls. That's a really cool idea. They've just done regular walls and they've gone along and put these these boards down. That's slick. I like, oh, yeah, I like the fireplace. That's a really nice idea. Kind of like wainscoting. Oops. Gotta steal my pots. We definitely have a bunch of zombies upstairs. I'm a little nervous about getting trapped. Oh, well, what the hell's going on there? Alright, he's stuck in the ceiling. I'm not going to worry about checking the safes. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about checking the safes. If we have enough time in Alpha 10 still, at the end of this se season, then I'll be building the base, and I'll come back, and I'll loot this place up much more. Oh, Beaker. All right. We know we got a Beaker here. All right, we'll just keep that in mind. Guys, remember, if help me if I get to the point where I'm like, where did we find that Beaker at? Remind me, this house needs, this house needs serious looting. This house is freaking awesome for loot. Oh wow, yeah, there's safes everywhere. I like these closets with the plate the uh, plate blocks. Wow, I really like this house. This is really well done. All right, rather than risking whatever's going on in there, we'll just, uh, we'll just leave by the front door. Okay. So, I think what I'll do... Look at that mountaintop. What I may do... Yeah, in fact, let's do this. What I may do is... Uh, something I do not do normally. I'm going to go into debug mode. And I'm going to fly so we can get a, just get a really good look at... Let me turn off my HUD as well. So that we can get a really good view of this mountainside. I mean, just look at the amount of work. Whoever did this deserves a beer. Because <laughs> that was a huge, huge amount of block placing. Uh, I mean, you could do it in the prefab editor, but even then you have to do it in blocks because there's, there's, there's pieces and pieces and pieces. Look at this thing. Oh, pimps, if you are watching these videos, which, of course, the pimps should be. Oops, we got a little bit of a weird cliffside thing going on there. Looks like something got clipped. But this should be able... I mean, this... You should be able to procedurally generate this. I mean, just look at the scale of this thing. It is truly amazing. I mean, look how high we are. It's just phenomenal. It looks like there might be the same basic kind of node of rock. Like this, this piece right here looks like it is repeated. Um, not to this one, but to, like, over here. Well, I don't know. It all looks, yeah, like, they're similar, I guess. They look like they could be... They're very similar. Is that a supply crate down there? But just look at this mountainside. That is truly a huge accomplishment. It is a supply crate. 
I didn't hear a plane come by, but we must have had one. All right, so we'll come back down here. Oh. Oops, let me re-engage our... Oops, there we go. SMG barrel sniper scope. Um, I do want the sniper scope. Okay, here's what we're going to do really quick. We're going to go in here. Boom. Disc. Craft. Boom. Don't just spawn on me stuff. Alright. Put this down. Okay, so now we got all this stuff. We're going to leave all this stuff here. All stuff that I don't need on a regular basis. We'll leave that there. We'll leave. Jeez, zombies, leave me alone. Oops. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I did it anyway. So we got full iron armor schematics. Um, dang it! Leave me alone. All right. So what I'm also gonna do, um, I'm gonna make a little tower of frames right here. can find my little doohickey again here soon. So I want to be looting that house up a lot when I build my final base. And yes, I think I'm going to build my final base on this mountain because that would be epically awesome. Uh, what else can I leave here? Um, I'm going to leave these feathers. Mm, I'm going to leave half my... <coughs> iron <coughs> my books I'm gonna leave my bullets as well because I don't really use them very often and leave half the antibiotics leave that there oh hello zombie how you doing how you doing all right, well, this is getting to be a little bit of a longer episode. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it an episode here. And then when we come back, we're going to go underneath this mountain to the underpass and then start heading south again. So for now, it's been Wrong with the Bold. And I hope you're enjoying this, uh, this season with this really interesting prefab pack. So if you are, click that like button, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your family, and your grandma. And I'll see you guys as we head south for winter.